This is Frank from Apple One to One. We've been asked some questions on how to modify this money out chart so that these percentages represent the relationship to our total income, not just to our total expenses. Create a new sheet, and you're going to have two tables. The first table, I've labeled the first row gross income. That's where our $4,000 is going to go. And if you have any additional income other than, like this says paycheck, if you have any other additional income, you're going to post that and then put the total of your income in this first line. After that, your expenses, what they are. Total your expenses over in this little table here. That's going to give us our twenty-seven fifty. The available income after expenses is going to be this calculation. It's going to be B two, our four thousand dollars minus our total expenses. That's going to give us what I've labeled available income after expenses. All right, you will highlight your first expense and all the way down to available income after expenses. Go up to chart, click on chart, and we're going to do a 2D pie chart. Click on it, and there you are. A couple of things to note here. This now is giving us the percentage of our housing, rent, mortgage, taxes, and insurance. That's 38% of our total income of $4,000. Now, the reason we had to put the expenses in, or the income after expenses in here, is because if we didn't, then it's, it's only going to give us the relationship of our expenses and what that percentage would be related to the total expenses. So you have to have that in in order to put in to get 100%. So once you have that, then there are things that you can do with the the pie chart itself. If you click on it, you can go over to the chart. You'll see background. You can select background, shadows, whatever. The chart type, you can get rid of the legend. That takes that out. You, If you want to have a title, you can come in here and just put... Uh, Total percentage to income, whatever you want to call it. You can bold it, right? All of these are available to you. Come back to your chart. You can go to click on the, these are your particular widgets. Now, see where it says label options? You can go distance from center. Now, I, now the reason that 31% is moving is because I had that particular piece of the pie selected. Click on the entire chart and then go back to that. And you can see they will come out. Now, when they're out beyond the pie, you'll see that they turn black and they have a leader line, which is indicated right here. Then you can, where it says end point, if you click on that, you can select an arrow. Now you have an arrow at the end point. You can also increase the point size, you see? So that's highlighting to each piece of the pie. You can, the wedge position, you can separate them, wedge position, distance from the center. So you could do that. If you come back to the chart, you can do the legend. We'll put that back up there like that. Labels, data points, select that. Now you have your labels connected to each of your data points. And then you could select a particular one, 
drag them, change them in terms of uh, whether you want a different color, whatever. You can make them relatable any way you want. But the point here is now your chart reflects your expenses plus your available income after expenses and the percentage that it relates to your gross income. Hope that was helpful. Hope it helps. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free. And don't forget to hit, hit that like button. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.